My name is uh, Gary Goldstein. I'm the president of the Kennedy Krieger Institute. And we are here today to launch Awareness Day or Awareness Month for autism. Now this is a worldwide event and the way it's being celebrated and acknowledged is by turning key buildings around the world blue. And a little bit later we're going to turn City Hall, our classic building in Baltimore, blue. And at the same time, uh, yesterday and today, there are buildings in every country of the world that are recognizing uh, uh, this event. Last year, even the International Space Station turned blue, if you could see it flying overhead. Now, why are we doing this? It is to increase awareness about autism. We now know that approximately one child in a hundred, one person in a hundred, has autism. And what you're going to hear in just a few minutes from our director of our autism program, Dr. Landa, is how important it is to make this diagnosis early. And that's what the recognition, the Worldwide Awareness Day, is to make people aware that there are signs and symptoms of autism where you can recognize this child who might have this problem very early in life, age two or even younger, and there are meaningful therapies. And that's what you're going to hear about. And we're part of, a, as I say once again, a, a worldwide recognition. And the, the launch of this has been the worldwide part has been under the auspices of Autism Speaks, a, a parent-driven organization uh, interested in raising money for research in autism and awareness in autism. And here in Baltimore, it's the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Uh, with that, I'd like to uh, introduce Dr. Rebecca Landa, the director of the autism program uh, at Kennedy Krieger. Becky. Thank you, Dr. Goldstein. I also want to thank Mayor Rawlings Blake and also all of you for coming out tonight to recognize this important day. Uh, when I opened the Autism Center at Kennedy Krieger about 17 years ago, very few people spoke about autism. And aut people with autism weren't really embraced. And I think that we didn't really understand what autism really was. And today, thanks to the media and uh, researchers, the federal agencies and families, we've really changed that. And tonight is a perfect example of that. It's important to understand what autism is because people with autism uh, really can impact the world in a major way, but they need help to be able to do that. The earlier we can detect autism, the earlier uh, that we can begin to give the brain the kind of experiences it needs so that it can develop in a healthy way. And so at Kennedy Krieger, we're developing, uh, through research, uh, new interventions for autism, new ways to help families uh, carve out a path for their children, ways to train educators to work with children with autism, and ways to diagnose autism during infancy. And so one of the things that uh, we're going to be doing in kicking off Autism Awareness Month beginning today is offering free assessments to baby siblings of children with autism. Autism is a public health concern. As Dr. Goldstein had said, it happens in at least 1% of children. And so just like diabetes and cancer, where if there's a family history of the disorder, there's increased screening uh, for children, we are going to set an example for the world, I hope, and champion that children, baby siblings of children with autism, uh, get assessments early in life and are monitored developmentally. Also, we're going to be uh, kicking off our ROAR event, which is our annual fundraiser for autism on April 28th at Oregon Ridge, a fun walk and um, fun festival and bike riding. So I hope everyone will come out for that. And I'd also now like to introduce uh, Danielle Marable, who's going to speak to you. She's a mother of a child with autism. Thank you, Dr. Landa. Thank you for everyone showing up tonight. Um, I am the proud mother of a child with autism. My son is three. And through the benefits of going through Kennedy Krieger um, in the early detection process, as far as going through their REACH program, uh, my son has made tremendous strides in um, just where, where he is right now, emotionally, socially, and um, academically as well. I do believe that the earlier we detect this, uh, this particular issue, the better off it is. I, am, I have talked to many parents who are saying that my child didn't get diagnosed until five or six or seven, 
or they weren't knowledgeable about the resources that were available. And I've been out spreading the word through Kennedy Krieger as well as Autism Speaks to try to bring more resources to the parents. So I do believe the more that the research is advertised, the more um, programs are available and the more the word gets out that we get some more parents into these programs. The Achievements Program and the REACH Program at Kennedy have been awesome for my son and I hope that it continues along with the new initiatives by President Obama to continue to be on the forefront. Um, thank you so much. It's now my pleasure to introduce but also to tell you how lucky we are to have Stephanie Rawlings Blake as our mayor. At least from our perspective, she is so committed to the Kennedy Krieger Institute and we come out every year in the cold rain snow, even though it's April, to uh, recognize the importance of early diagnosis in autism for the children of our city. And, and the point was made, often children are not diagnosed till they reach kindergarten. That's not early enough. We can do something very meaningful at age two and that's when we'd like to meet them or e even younger. Uh, with, with my great pleasure, I introduce uh, our, 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 our mayor. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here with you this evening, with all of you, including my daughter, who is here with me this evening. Wave your hand, Sophia. <laughs> uh, this is the last day of spring break, so she has been working with mom today. I want to thank uh, Dr. Goldstein for the, for the kind introduction and for all the work that your staff, uh, that you and your staff do every day on behalf of uh, families, of, of uh, children of uh, families that are living with uh, autism. I want to thank Dr. Landa for your dedication to the children and for families who are touched by uh, autism. And I, I really want to thank uh, Ms. Maribel uh, for sharing your family story and for uh, braving the cold without a coat like me today. <laughs> Uh, it's it is a great honor to be to join you tonight, uh, and and also I, I I certainly don't want to leave out uh, our our health commissioner, who has been a tremendous leader and I know a good partner with Kennedy Krieger, Dr. Oxiris Burbo. Thank you for being out here. So it's an honor for me to be here to to help commemorate Autism Awareness Month and to highlight the great work that's being done right here in Baltimore. Autism is the nation's, nation's fastest growing developmental disorder with a current incidence rate at, estimated at 1 in 88 children. Autism can affect a child's ability to communicate, to socialize, and to relate to his or her surroundings. We're truly fortunate, and I mean it, truly, truly fortunate to have the Kennedy Krieger Institute, a home to one of, in Baltimore, home to one of the nation's largest autism center, located right here in Baltimore. And believe you me, people come from all around to take advantage of uh, the, the autism center at Kennedy Krieger. We have a lot to be proud of. And with leaders and champions like those uh, who are here today, including my friend who's, who is out of sol solidarity, not in your blue, but I know that it, it, it's in your heart, right? You're all blue under there, right, Lainey? <laughs> Lainey Lee Bosax and the many others uh, from Kennedy Krieger. We can continue improving the long-term outcomes for these children and support the uh, research that is being done to uncover the real answers and the mystery of autism. Families come from all over the world, as I said, to Kennedy, Kennedy Krieger uh, to help their children with special needs. And the fact that their commitment extends beyond their own walls into our public schools where they're helping to train our special educators is a testament to their commitment to Maryland's children. In support of their work beginning tonight and through the month of April, uh, and you'll be able to see it once it gets a little uh, darker. We City Hall will be bathed in blue light as a reminder of the millions of children and families uh, affected by autism. And, and in doing so, we are joining, as the doctor said, many uh, many cities and states around the, the country who are also uh, lighting up their buildings in blue. So I'm just going to read a little tiny bit of this if I could get the doctor to join me. Uh, I have a proclamation designating April 2013 as Autism Awareness Month in Baltimore. Autism, um, autism spectrum disorder is a lifelong disability uh, typically appearing in the first three years of life and potentially resulting in significant impairment of individuals' ability to communicate and understand social interactions and develop appropriate interactive behaviors. And one out of 
Uh, 187 children in Baltimore are diagnosed with ASD each year. An early diagnosis, appropriate education, and interaction throughout one's life are vital to the growth and development of these individuals. And although a cure is not commonly known, re researchers are investigating many hopeful possibilities during the month uh, during the month of April, an awareness campaign is conducted each year to highlight the work of these individuals and to educate the public. And whereas the overall incidence of autism is consistent around the globe, but is four times more prevalent in boys and in girls, autism knows no racial, ethnic, or social boundaries or family income limitations. Lifestyle and educational levels do not affect a child's chance of developing autism. And whereas I encourage everyone in our great city to support fellow Baltimoreans affected by autism and to recognize the work of families and healthcare professionals who work so hard to support autistic individuals and to find a cure. I sign um, and I proclaim uh, to April 2013 as Autism Awareness Month in Baltimore and do urge all citizens to join in recognizing this worthy cause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to turn around.